Hi guys, Paul here, and what we're going to be doing is taking a quick unboxing look at what comes with the Quantum HD V2 goggles from Hobby King. Now it's worth mentioning that these goggles aren't actually HD, so keep that in mind, but they do come with a new improved LCD monitor. So what we'll do is run through exactly what it is that you receive with this package. So this is the manual for the Quantum HD goggles and it's pretty well detailed, nicely illustrated, and very, very easy to follow. So I don't think anyone's gonna have any dramas following the actual uh, manual itself. So that should be pretty much a no-brainer. What we also have is the three magnification lenses that come with the uh, Quantum HD. Now, interestingly, uh, looking at the three lenses, it's really hard to identify which is which. Uh, they're not labeled, they all look pretty much the same, and looking at them with the naked eye, it's really hard to determine which magnification they are. Uh, the first one I tried didn't work too great. Um, swapped out for the second one and that one was pretty much spot on. Pretty happy with the uh, second one that I fit in there. So it might be a bit of hit and miss. So just keep that in mind. Now also supplied is the lens frame and the two sliders that clip into either side of it. So this is the first part where the lenses will, will fit in. And what you'll do is once you've actually got the lens in, you'll fit this frame around it and that'll basically form it to shape. And what we have here is the video switcher, which uh, will basically just switch to the front facing camera if you choose to install a front facing camera on these goggles. Uh, some people will, some people won't, but uh, it's a good option definitely to have. And this is the uh, wire that will actually allow you to connect your video switcher. And what you have here is the four strips of foam that you can cut down to size and basically put around uh, the part of the goggles that actually fit on your face so you can achieve a better fit. You'll also obviously receive the neoprene uh, casing for the goggles. Uh, the good thing about these, this neoprene uh, casing, it basically means that you don't have to worry about uh, gluing the two foam halves together. So uh, servicing your monitor is going to be a lot easier. I think this is a really, really good idea. So what you're looking at here is your two halves of your goggles constructed of foam and basically the only two components that will fit in this uh, case is going to be your lens um, that is your lens frame etc and also the lcd monitor and uh, look the molding seems quite good it seems to go together quite well uh, we're not planning on gluing this together i don't think you need to glue this together because the neoprene casing should actually hold it in place and finally what we have here is our five inch LCD monitor, uh, along with all the cabling that uh, comes with it. You've got your um, main power cable and uh, we're gonna be using this to power both the LCD monitor and also the FPV uh, receiver. And this is the LCD monitor, it comes with a protective film. So make sure you do actually remove that. Uh, on the back, we have the control settings for the main menu, obviously plus and minus, so you can adjust your menu settings and it's pretty much good to go. So what we'll do is get the Quantum V2 goggles together and I will join you shortly. So what you're looking at here is the Quantum V2s already put together. It went together pretty easily. It was pretty painless, there no real major issues. I've got my RC832 receiver in there with my antenna and you can see where the wiring is as far as powering it all goes. Uh, we've got our battery. I'm running a 2S battery in there at the moment. That's probably what we'll run with initially and wiring all tucked in at the front end there. So nice and neat, all pretty much ready to go. Let's have a look inside. So that's essentially what it looks like inside, all fired up and ready to go. So it's just gonna be a matter of uh, getting this guy out there and uh, having a play with it, having a fly with it, uh, get Thomas's opinion and my opinion. Adjusting the lens backwards and forwards was pretty straightforward. It seems to hold position quite well, but I have a feeling it may get knocked about, so you may wanna secure that a little bit better once you've actually got the focus set up correctly for your eyes. But look, all in all, it went together quite easily. It's just gonna be a matter of getting out there now and uh, flying with these and see exactly how we go with them. They do represent good value, so it's gonna be interesting to see what Thomas uh, thinks of these and uh, how I go with these guys too. So uh, anyway, look, we'll leave it at that and we will catch you guys in the next video.